Thanks, guys. Things are about to get crazy in the sports world in Iowa City. As men's basketball is flying high in the rankings at number four in the country, I think some people are forgetting about Iowa wrestling. And they shouldn't. The number two ranked Iowa wrestlers will host the Big Ten Championships right here in Iowa City. As exciting as it is for Brands and his crew to be where the heart of their fans are, they can't lose sight on their focus on the next one mentality. Exactly. And that next match comes up this Friday. Wrestling reporter Laura Belanda has more. Still undefeated and close to heading into the postseason, but first they'll head to Montana. The Iowa wrestling team will make the trek to Montana State University Northern on Friday, February 12th. I've never been to Montana, so that'll be fun. And See how it is. I'll go anywhere to wrestle. You know, if there's a match, let's go. So uh, maybe see some new things and uh, be fun. This will serve as an out of conference duel for the Hawkeyes as the Northern Lights compete in the Frontier Conference in NAIA Division I. But the different conference shouldn't change the mindset of this team. You know, they got a pretty good heavyweight. You know, it doesn't matter what level they are. A guy has two arms, two legs, and a brain, he's going to go out there and try to beat you. You know, it's still a competition that's ahead of you, but it's maybe a confidence booster, and you still you got to get up for it. You got to do your job. As the Hawkeyes take their lineup to Montana, head coach Tom Brands expects his big shots to do big things upon arrival. I think they appreciate seeing um, guys in the in the flesh. You know, guys like Gilman and Sorensen and Clark and Birak, and probably becoming a household name as they go forward with their careers. And as always, there's a certain excitement and one goal in mind when approaching a duel. Cool, well, that's one more place we get to go and whoop some tail. Laura Belanda, Daily Iowan, TV Sports. After their duel in Montana, the Hawkeyes have a short break before their national duels on February 22nd. And after that, the Big Ten Championship on March 5th and 6th right here in Iowa City. Another team that knows what winning is like is the Iowa baseball team. After posting a 41-18 and record last season, the Big Ten Conference preseason poll was released on Wednesday. Iowa's picked to finish fourth in the conference, while seniors Tyler Payton, Calvin Matthews, and Nick Rossetti represented the Hawkeyes on the Players to Watch list. Their 2016 season kicks off in the Lone Star State against Dallas Baptist on February 19th and through the 22nd. It's one successful team to another for Iowa, especially for women's gymnastics. One of the three seniors on the Iowa women's gymnastics team has led the team to several victories, and two of which were over ranked opponents. After sitting out her first year and being sidelined due to an injury the next, Johnny Sutillo is making quite the appearance in her final season. Katie Sectro took a closer look into this gym hawk. The women's gymnastics team is made up of girls from all over the country, but one particular gymnast chose to come to Iowa even if that meant being almost 3,000 miles away from her home in Venezuela. Johanny Sotillo is a fifth year senior who chose Iowa so she could be a full-time student while doing what she loves at the same time, being a gymnast. Someone at my old school told me that if I wanted to graduate, I should have decided between gymnastics and college, otherwise it wasn't going to work. So it's like, okay, if there's a place that I can go and still like, succeed, that's, that's what's best for me. The women's head gymnastics coach Larissa Libby says that while they don't focus on recruiting internationally, it is becoming a growing trend here at Iowa. We are branching out a little bit more, going to different places. We're not against recruiting international kids at all. Um, for us, it's whatever's going to gel with our team the best. So we'll keep doing it as long as there are young ladies that are interested in continuing a higher education and having the opportunity to do gymnastics at the same time. And while it can be difficult at times, Sotillo says it's definitely one of the best decisions she's ever made. I am so glad that I did it. I couldn't be happier. I get my second family here, which is like, all oh, the girls and the staff are great. So that kind of balance it out. Reporting from the Fieldhouse, Katie Sextro, Daily Iowa TV Sports. So Tio and her teammates will be back in action this Saturday at Illinois before returning to Carver on February 20th. Iowa men's swimming and diving is closing in on their Big Ten championships, and one freshman has made his mark twice this year. And one of those standout performances happened just this week. Will Brenner was named Big Ten Co-Freshman of the Week after posting first place on the 100-meter springboard and diving on February 5th in Iowa City. The Big Ten Championships are in West Lafayette this year from February 24th through the 27th. A lot of Big Ten action for Iowa in these next few weeks. Stick with Daily Iowa TV Sports for all of it. Back to you guys at the desk.